this will be an introduction to sculpt mode. So the first thing I want to do is to add a sphere. Obviously you can work with any mesh object, but I'm using a sphere in this case. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. At the moment we're in object mode. We'll remember the whole time you can see what I'm doing with my mouse there. Or if I press a key, in this case a home key, it comes up on the screen. Right, so we're in object mode. You've got the selection of edit mode where you can edit the nodules. And now we're going to look at sculpt mode. So when you switch on sculpt mode over here in your T bar, to get rid of this bar, if you remember it was press T, it disappears, press T, it comes back again. So when you're in sculpt mode, if you press T, you get this selection of tools on the left hand side. If you press on this little window, left click, you get the, br the so called brushes that you can work with. So um, if we just grab the inflate and we start pressing, you'll see that it starts affecting form. This stage not very strong. You can alter the radius of the circle that you're working with. Now you can see it's affected on a bigger area and you can affect the strength of it as well. So the idea here is that it's working like working with a piece of clay. You can actually manipulate it. So down here, the hook, we can actually now just grab the surface and start pulling it out. Uh, what else have we got? We've got smooth. Start smoothing it away. This will start doing a long line. So this kind of modeling is very good for quite organic type objects. Now also at the moment you can see it's very faceted because if I press Z that shows you the wire. A wire frame is made out of quite big blocks. And what's happening here is it's affecting where the wire intersects all the little nodules. So to improve our modeling, what we can do is we'll go back to object mode and get out a wireframe by pressing Z. With that selected, I press delete. Press it again. I accept it. So we will add another sphere. And this time, what we want to do, I'm going into wire mode, increase the number of little vertices in here. And so on the right hand side into modifiers there is a modifier so that's the spanner and you add your modifier. There's a modifier called subdivision surface and immediately as we went into that you can see it's subdivided by one. We can now step this up to and in this form you can see it's smoothing it off as well too three, four, and now it's becoming really dense. Now you can keep going with that, but it takes a lot of memory on your computer. Um, my computer can't do above possibly five, certainly not six. But currently I'm going to work in four. Um, so we will then apply that. And go back into sculpt mode. Now you'll see that it's much smoother when we start modeling. And you've got the whole selection of brushes to try. Now there are a whole number of properties you can try over here, but what can be interesting is the symmetry property. So if we switch on the X we have a look along the x-axis is over here. If I draw on this side, it is then drawn on the other side as well. So if we 
switch on all of them. Start getting drawing happening all over the place. And now, one good thing about the sculpt mode is that you can then move in and out of edit mode as well. So, now if we wanted to uh, scale this in the Y direction, S for scale on my keys, Y to keep it in that direction, and then I can scale it. So if I then go back to object mode, that's what our object is looking like. Now one problem can be that having, I'll go to wireframe, you can see the wireframe is quite heavy, and if you go into edit mode, and now I want to, I just A for deselect. If I wanted to try and model this and just find one vertice or a little group of vertices, it can be really hard work. Right, so we need to go back to object mode, and then we can add this modifier called decimate. And I tend to use the un unsubdivide and unsubdivide it by one, possibly two. And each time you saw that the um, texture of it is getting that little bit more coarse. Computer's a bit slow doing it. But what is happening? is that the mesh then is getting that little bit more simple. I'll push it one more. So we still have the original form that we modeled. I'll apply that. But now if we go into edit mode, you can see the nodules are much further apart. It will be much easier to work with. So to summarize, We've had a look at using sculpt mode, and we've had a look at the modifiers, and we've had a look at subdivision modifier, and then the, almost the opposite, the decimate modifier. I was looking at sculpt mode.